Are you flying to Norway or are you planning to travel to Norway this 2023 but you're worried about the cost? I'm not surprised. Stay with us for the latest budget tips you need to know. Welcome back to Tripsider. This channel won't leave you behind with the latest travel hacks and facts and we will help you fulfill your travel wish list. Today's video discusses the cheapest ways to travel to Norway this year and I'll share the list of best tips for visiting Norway. How to visit Norway this 2023 on a budget? Is it true that this nation is not a budget-friendly destination? What are the most scenic places to go with cheap accommodations? But before we begin, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, ring the notification bell to stay updated with some hottest news. Keep watching because we've got more info on our YouTube channel. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date for the best travel advice on YouTube. With that, let's continue. Norway is known for being super expensive, but I can tell you it's entirely possible for a road trip through the country without spending much money. With a budget of $44 to $55 per day, here are 8 travel guides to save money and make the most of your visit to this beautiful country. Here we go. Number 8. Hire a car. It's super cheap to get there from mainland Europe when it comes to visiting Norway. There are quite a few airports all across Norway that connect the country, so it's possible to fly yourself around Norway. For more comparison with the best deals, you can use some apps that provide travel itineraries, flights, and car rental choices. Once you land, you must decide the best way to get around Norway, and hiring a car is the top option. You could witness amazing views with your vehicle. Renting a camper or motorhome was recommended to get the most out of your Norway adventures. From Lofoten upwards to the North Cape, you can explore free of charge. The north of Norway has no toll roads. You can also register for a toll pass before you visit the place and get 20% off the toll roads if you've got your vehicle. The fuel in Norway changes throughout time, and it ranges from around $1.50 to $2 depending on where you are. Number 7. Take the train. Another available option is the variety of great train networks in Norway. Experience some of the most impressive landscapes in Norway with train travel. There are beautiful train journeys and routes that may bring some stunning views. Some popular trails include Oslo to Flan and Bergen to Flan. You can gain more flexibility and savings on travel expenses across your trip if you pick up a Scandinavia pass. 6. Do grocery shopping. To cut out dramatic expenses, Cooking your food is the best remedy. You can visit and shop at different supermarkets in Norway that have cheap and affordable ingredients and food. The most common supermarkets in Norway are Kiwi, Rima 1000 and Coop Extra. Pasta and vegetables are all on average prices and Mexican food is the cheapest so far in Norway. There is vegan cuisine and frozen vegetables too. You can buy some sausages in exchange for meat because the meat is expensive. Five. Avoid buying expensive alcohol. We cannot escape the fact that alcohol in Norway is expensive. Drinking in bars or restaurants is very expensive, so avoid drinking alcohol out if attempting to visit Norway on a budget. Basic ciders and beers are boozed under a certain percentage in supermarkets. You can go to one of the state-run liquor stores if you want something more substantial. Before sharing more information, please tell us your opinions in the comments section. We've got some more news for you on our YouTube channel. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best broadcasts on YouTube. Check out our next video. Don't forget to leave a comment below for any clarifications or if you want to suggest any tips that I didn't mention. Number 4. Eat in fast food restaurants. There is no denying it. Eating out in Norway is unsuitable for your wallet. But in some places, it's pretty average to get food for around 120 to 180 knock which is approximately $12 to $18. McDonald's is the cheapest restaurant in Norway, especially in busy cities. A cup of espresso coffee is more expensive at around $35 to $50 knock, or $3.60 to $5.06. If you are looking for cheap coffee, you should shop in supermarkets, and they often have complimentary filter coffee on offer for $2. 3. Enjoy the nature. If you're wondering why Norway is so expensive, this is because people get paid more wages here. The activities and trips here can be on the luxury side, but some fantastic things to see and do in Norway can be entirely free. You can have the chance to find the northern lights with darkness, clear skies and luck. You can also go and be north and have a spot perfect for searching for the northern lights. 
You don't need to take a cruise to see the fjords in Norway. Pull over at different viewpoints to get some epic sights and photo spots. Norway has numerous beautiful hiking spots and views which are 99% free. 2. Get money exchanged before entering the country. Don't exchange your money before you enter Norway. Withdrawing from an ATM there will be less expensive and they don't charge. Avoid the terrible exchange rate in your home country and wait until you arrive in Norway. Norway uses knock. One knock is equivalent to 10 cents. Any place in Norway accepts cards after three weeks of traveling. You can get a reasonable exchange rate using Starling, Monzo, and Revolut. They have all free travel cards to order, and you get the best exchange rate on the market. And you can get a good deal with no fees. If you want to withdraw money, it won't charge you for up to $249. If you get a Monzo or Revolut, you can use both and get $497 a month of free withdrawals. Number 1. Save money on hotels. The cheapest alternative to hotel accommodations is living in your camper van. There are lots of campsites throughout Norway. Look for available camp spots in Norway that are free to stay in. A campsite with electricity and access to showers and toilets is around 200 to 250 NAC per night. To save money in hotels in Norway, you must visit in the off-season. Airbnb is much cheaper than hotels, and you can get rooms for two people for as cheap as $30 a night. Hotels are readily available in autumn and they sometimes offer sales and discounts. If you are more comfortable staying in hotels, navigate to a booking site to search for all the best prices. So there you go. It's totally possible to visit Norway and not spend too much cash. Of course, slow travel is the best way to spend less on a Norway holiday. Plan, and you can see all that this wonderful country offers without worrying about your tight budget. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. What do you think about all this? If you've got other tips for seeing Norway on a budget, then drop a comment below. Over here are a couple more videos that you might find interesting, so please check them out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Again, this is Tripsider, letting you know about some travel tips for your next destination. And as always, stay safe and have a good one.